guess who's back? Hey everyone, <clears throat> welcome back to Weirdy Deep Expeditions where we confront fear to find the truth. And where we are also now submissive and breedable. <laughs> I mean, I'm mostly just doing this for the sake of spooky seasons. And I'm in a completely new setup uh, because my boyfriend has commandeered the desk for his home clothing design business. And he does a lot of cool stuff on there, so be sure to check it out. Link is in the description. Hopefully, starting this again will get me back into the groove of doing YouTube regularly. I really, really miss doing this. And I really missed all of you. So anyway, for this video, we're gonna jump straight into some really fucked up shit, and that is Blue Channel Thalassin. Uh This one was kind of suggested by um, my girlfriend, actually, like a while ago, when I was trying to look for content ideas to try and get back into this again. And according to some Twitter mutuals, um, it's gonna get pretty fucked up at some point. From what I was able to gather about the video, apparently it's supposed to be analog horror, which as you know, analog horror is the t thing we do on this channel all the time, and, in, and it's, an, it's a favorite genre of mine. So of course we gotta look into it. Um, so anyway. It's supposed to be like a medication commercial of some kind, where it starts off normal but then gets more fucked up, as is the nature of analog horror, it seems. <laughs> and from some of the pictures somebody showed me and some of the words they were saying, I'm a bit, uh, I'm a bit, and I, I want to say pensive about it because I basically just getting back into doing this stuff again and I feel like what if I jump too far and it just deters me from doing any more videos but hey I got through local 58 channel 7 analog archives and dining room where there is nothing I, I think I can handle this all right so without further ado let's get to the video blue obviously it ain't yellow <laughs> all right Okay, we get it. It's blue. Or a loved one are suffering from any of the following symptoms. Lack of feeling, emotional outbursts, fog of the mind, or memory loss. This I mean, I mean, I might have some of those things. <laughs> onset AED or advanced emotional deterioration. Uh, is this a real thing? Today, uh, hold on a minute. Advanced emotional deterioration. Uh... I see mental deterioration, but not advanced emotional deterioration. Uh, okay, so I guess it's not real. <laughs> Oddly enough, it didn't it didn't link me to this. <laughs> Seven in ten people over How am I supposed to know if I suffer from this? Experiencing emotional degradation severe enough to hinder everyday tasks such as workplace performance, social interaction, and general well-being. Yeah, that just sounds like clinical depression emotional to me. Stability is required for a functional and healthy mind. Well, it makes sense, I guess. To require rigorous testing and invasive procedures, costing time, effort, and money. But most importantly, and money, because capitalism. Is oh, that old, that old, that old wipe, that old '90s wipe. Oh God, this feels so nostalgic. Probably not nostalgic in a good way. Only does Thalassin restore lost emotion, but patients have reported emotions at a higher and more consistent quality. Than ones produced non chemically. Included in. Oh. Every oh, wait a second. Wait a second. I feel like a few people are going to get this. I feel like a few people know why I stopped at this image. <laughs> I mean, it did offer me some more. some emotional stability. It really did help. <laughs> And yeah, as much as I, like, as much as I'm joking about it, 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 as much as I'm joking right now, like, it looks really similar to something I take. 
and a few people know which one what I'm talking about. And yeah, it it did help. Uh, also, uh, it uh, uh, gave me a few extra things that you probably notice now. Uh, but anyway, moving on. Every pack of thalassin are these common emotions: red pill, blue pill, Happiness, sadness, <laughs> anger, fear, and relief. <laughs> Also, look out for over-the-counter options. Jealousy, jealousy, hope, frustration. Hope, frustration. I mean, and pride. I mean, why would I want to experience jealousy or nervousness? <laughs> I'd rather not experience those things, like with my anxiety issues. Also, um, it feels a little bit disturbing about the concept of emotional, chemical, emotional control. I mean, I can understand the need for it. Being, having, being diagnosed with clinical depression, so I can understand the need for it, but it still makes me uncomfortable to think that, it just still makes you a bit uncomfortable, like, oh, we can just give you this, and even if things are terrible in the world, you'll still feel happy and joyful about it. And that kind of makes me uncomfortable a little bit. Like, I have to reiterate it that it makes me uncomfortable. So this makes it already, cre oh, here we go. I guess this- experiencing natural emotions. Or um, interested in expanding your emotional palette. I mean, it would be interesting. What kind of emotions do you got? Allowed us to refine existing emotions, but it's also allowed for the creation of new um, and um, Okay, so it, it breaks your brain. It breaks your brain more. Uh, With Thalus and Plus, experience emotions beyond previous natural capabilities. These <laughs> I, I keep wanting to make the joke about the... about... about... The, about the pill we were looking at before because honestly it did help me experience more emotions because before that I was only experiencing um, anger and um, anger sadness and uh, emptiness and now I experience more emotions so I guess it worked new emotions include degrin, degrins cumber nage my TV just flickered a second ago when it got to dorselessness <laughs> and I paused it, and now Dorselessness is staring at me. <laughs> um, okay, this is kind of disturbing. Andric. Andric. Ponish. Oh, shit. Okay, uh... Ponish. Do I really want to have the ability to feel Ponish? Um... <laughs> I'd rather not feel Ponish. Oh God! Kine. Trantiveness. Trantiveness is tree person. Teluge. The, the fuck was that? The fuck was that? On Lent. Oh God! I'd rather not experience these emotions. I'm fine with my limited natural ones, okay? I don't want any I don't want to be chemically <laughs> pushed to experiencing whatever on Lent is. I don't want to experience that. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling very on Lent today. Turns into an eldritch palm tree. <laughs> Loric. Oh, okay. Uh I feel this is significant. To experience the power of Thalithin. I'd rather not experience the power of it, okay? I'd rather not. Blue. Oh, God. Oh, God. I definitely got some... ...vibes from this. It has... It's, it's similarly structured, but way shorter. Oh, man. That really brought me back to... Brought me back to, uh that video in Analog Archives and Level 58. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. I really don't want to experience dorsalness and humber. <laughs> like, what, what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, like, going back into it, and about the number, I'm kind of curious. I'm also kind of curious about something. This number, if I call it, will it actually go somewhere? 842 5274 Oh, it's ringing. Hello, and please listen carefully as our menu options may have changed. Calls are recorded for quality assurance. 
It looks like the battery on my camera is about to die so I think I'm gonna cut this short <laughs> uh, this video really had the really feels like a parody it's basically just I feel like it's just a parody of old 90s and early, early 2000 medication commercials and nothing too deep about medic about m taking medication for emotional control I really don't think it's that deep. so with that I'm gonna this video here so be sure to check out my other videos those price box productions and videos our channel's price box gaming and price box reacts Thanks for watching, and stay jamming everyone.